In this snippet, we'll look at the JavaScript copy array task, which as a junior developer, it's something you're going to need to know. Hi, this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to JavaScript Snippets, a series of tutorials getting you up to speed on some of the most common things you'll need to do with JavaScript as a junior developer. Don't forget to take a second to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of these essential JavaScript tutorials. Okay, so this one's quite a common scenario. You've got an array, say it's an array of numbers as we have here, and you need to copy them to another variable. So there are two ways to do it and I'll show you both now and then I'll explain when you will use each one and finally we'll look at why you can't do it the way you think you should be able to do it. Okay, so let's create a couple of variables. Let's say a copy of array one and let's just call this array one just so we know which one we're talking about. So uh, let's just say that this is equal to array one dot slice. Okay, and if we then were to log out this to the console too. Oh, and let's just update the name of this as well because I changed that. You'll see the variable copy of array one is now an exact copy of the first array. So there is another way of doing it as I mentioned before. So let's say uh, another copy of array one is equal to and we'll actually just create a new array by using the square bracket notation. And then inside that, we'll say dot, 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 array one. And this is actually the ES6 spread operator. And what it tells JavaScript to do is to take the values that are inside the variable array one, as in one, two, three, four, five, and just add them into the array that we're working with, which as you can see, other than this, these values is completely blank. So that should give us an exact copy of array one again. So if we log that out to the console too, you can see we've got another exact copy of array one and it's got exactly the same values as the other two variables. So when would you use each of these approaches, either using the slice method or using the spread operator? Well, that one's pretty simple and it's down to what version of JavaScript you're using and what you have available to you. So if you have ES6 available in the environment that you're working with, or you don't need to support older browsers, for example, then you can use the spread operator. It's way easier to understand what's going on. You're taking the values of array one and just dumping them into that another copy of array one variable. And obviously you don't need any for loops or while loops to loop through the values of the array to put them into another one. It's a simple one liner that does exactly the same thing. And it's not confusing like the slice method, like why are we calling slice on this? Obviously you know now that it copies an array, but it could be a bit confusing if you didn't know why that was there. But this is basically for older browsers. So for anything that doesn't support all, all of the ES6 syntax, such as I'm um, thinking of Internet Explorer and other such browsers. So if compatibility is a concern, then you'll obviously want to go for the slice function. Okay, so that's how you actually copy an array, but why are we using these functions? Why can't we just assign the value of array one into another variable name? So let's have a look at why you can't do that now. So at first glance, this appears to have done exactly the same thing without using any of those fancy ES6 operators. But there's a problem with this, and you'll see why. If I was to add another value into array one, say by pushing it in there, say next number will be six, for example. When I run the code again, you'll see that both array one and the copy of array one actually receive that same value. And that's because the copy of array one variable is only pointing to the memory location or the reference of where array one is storing all of those array value items. So JavaScript holds its arrays and objects by reference. So if you try to copy an object or as we have done in this example, an array reference into another variable, it's literally copying to where those values are stored, not making an actual copy of the values themselves. So there we have it. If you want to copy an array, use the spread operator, but if you do need to support older browsers, Slice will do the same job for you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more essential JavaScript tutorials. See you next time.